What's going on everybody? It's your girl Billy Marie and I'm here today to talk to you about lighting. Okay, I am new to YouTube as most of you probably have realized but I am trying to really figure this thing out so I've been doing some research and I'm trying to improve my lighting because most of the time when I have to record it's at night when my kids are in the bed because during the day they're busy bodies and it's loud and I miss all that beautiful sunlight that comes through my window. So I still like to deliver, deliver videos for you guys. So so I'm trying to improve on my lighting so I've been watching videos and I found some solutions some temporary solutions that can help me you know with my stuff in the beginning so let me share some of those tips with you that I found from doing my own research on YouTube so today I went to get some lights I know a lot of people use ring lights but I didn't have time to wait for Amazon and things like that because I'm not a big online shopper so I'm not really familiar with the, everything that goes with ordering things online. I needed something right now today. So I went to Walmart and I purchased a clamp light. I purchased two of them actually. They were $6.97 so round that up, they're seven bucks. I purchased two of these and I think that they're going to be great because I know some people that have used clamp lights and you know their radios come out very nice so that's why I got them. They're fairly inexpensive and that's what I'm going with for now until I can get a ring light alright. And um, the bulbs I chose to put into them are these. These were nine dollars you might as well say they were 8.98 so you might as well say nine dollars there's four bulbs in here they're 100 watts they're led and they're very very bright okay as you can tell because right now it's about 11 o'clock at night where i am so these are working great in my opinion so i have them in both of my um clamp lights i'm only using one right now and it's directly in front of me i'm trying to use it similar to how people use their ring lights they usually put their ring lights you know behind their in front of their camera or whatever so that's where I have my positions and to help with the um, to help make the light not as harsh I saw a trick on YouTube that they said you can use parchment paper or wax paper to put in front of it but you have to be careful you know that it doesn't get too hot or whatever so you don't have you know things catching on fire <laughs> you don't want that so I have wax paper around my house so that's what I use I know some people use parchment paper and I know someone used the wax paper so so far I haven't had any issues I've had it in front of my light to soften the light and I haven't had any issues it hasn't got really hot or anything so I put these in front of there and it helps to soften the light and it seems to be working out pretty good. And um, I also needed something to hold my smartphone because right now I am a beginner vlogger or whatever you wanna call it, YouTuber, I'm not sure what the proper term is, but I'm a beginner. So I'm using my S9 Galaxy to record all of my videos at this point. So what I did was I um, needed an extra pair of hands, so I purchased a tripod from Walmart. This was $16.98. And I know I was freaking out a little bit, but I'm like, that's a good price because I'm pretty sure once I get a real camera, it's gonna get more and more costly. So I was happy to find it. I got the last one that was on the shelf, so I got really lucky today. And what I did was um, to fit my smartphone, you know, on top of here, because I don't, it says it has an attachment in here for a smartphone, but I didn't see one. So um, I just went ahead and I have a selfie stick. I just went ahead and took the attachment off the top of my selfie stick that holds your smartphone and I attached it to my tripod. And it seems to be working wonderfully because that's what's working for me right now while I'm filming this video as we speak. So it's doing a great job. Um, I'm really excited about everything that I have so far. The only thing that did not work out today, which I was really sad about, was my backdrop. Um, I wanted to do, I wanted to purchase a garment rack and I wanted to hang my backdrop I had seen some videos on YouTube that they did that and I really liked how it looked but I didn't get a chance to do that because when I bought my garment rack from Walmart all the, it was like missing pieces so I opened it up and I was missing about three or four pieces that were supposed to be in the box which was very very disappointing because it was closed it was brand new but when I opened it up there were pieces missing so I called Walmart they told me I could bring it back and exchange it so I'll probably do that tomorrow and Hopefully I can work out this backdrop thing because I ended up, I bought two yards of fabric and I wasn't able to use any of it because the garment rack was missing pieces. Everything is coming together and I'm really excited. So I hope everything just continues to come together. I know I'm going to eventually have to upgrade. The more I learn, the more research that I do, I plan on doing a lot more research 
try to get the right lighting and things like that, different angles and backdrops. And I just really want to try to figure this thing out. So right now I'm just a beginner. This is trial and error. And I'm just really excited. And I hope you guys continue to support me. And I'm going to continue to try to make videos for you guys that you want to see. And I hope, you know, everything just continues to work out because I'm really excited and I've been trying to do this for a long time and I'm finally able to invest in it and I'm really excited. So thanks for watching you guys. If you have any questions or comments, just leave it down in the comments section. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and press that subscribe button. And I love you guys and thank you and I hope you guys have a blessed night. Bye.